Hi everyone, welcome to a new day that we come together to pray sacred scripture. I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth from Disease of the Word Community, and I would like to welcome all of you that are joining us this Thursday, December 31st, to do like to divine and to pray sacred scripture. Today is the last day of the year, and our seventh day in the octave of Christmas. So the church gives us eight days of Christmas to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. So today is the seventh day, so tomorrow is the eighth day. And we will be reading for the liturgy of today, the first letter of St. John, chapter 2, verses 18 to 21. The responsorial psalm will be Psalm 96. And the gospel today will be Gospel of St. John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 18. The same gospel that we read and prayed at Christmas Day. Let's start the reading of the Word of God for today. Children, it is the last hour. As you have heard that Antichrist is coming, so now many Antichrists have come. From this we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not belong to us. For if they have belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But this going out, they made it plain that none of them belongs to us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One, and all of you have knowledge. I write to you not because you do not know because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and you know that no lie comes from the truth. The word of God of the Lord, thanks be to God. St. John is starts today saying, Children, it is the last hour. And the church chose this reading for the last day of the year. We can also say these are the last hours of this year, of this 2020. This year with so many difficulties and struggle in a human level and in our personal lives. Everything that we went through this year, it was very hard on many and in every circumstances in our lives but the Lord is telling us is the last hour do not lose heart the Lord is here with us and we are invited to be to rejoice and to believe in him to believe in his promises and then St. John is going to talk about the Antichrist But here for St. John, the Antichrist is not the one who is to come, but he's talking about all those people who left the community of believers, who left the Christian community. And he says, those ones who left, they never belonged to us. They were here for a while, but they never belonged to us, because if they had belonged to us, they would still be here. And How can we interpret this for us today? Well, we see many people that leave the faith or do not really trust in God, who have some issues trusting in God and God's providence. And here we need to act like St. John is asking his community. I write to you because I know that you know the truth. And you know that the truth does not come lies. So we need to believe in the truth. The truth is our Lord Jesus Christ. And in him there is no lie. In him there is no darkness. We are invited to pray for those who left the faith. But we cannot be shaken by it. And actually we cannot, we should not be shaken by anything that happened to us this year. Although many of us went through so many hard moments, difficult moments in our lives, but we are called to trust in the Lord, to trust that He will make everything new, to keep hope. We always need to keep hope in our hearts. The responsorial psalm today tells us, O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, sing to the Lord all the earth, Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. 
Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Rejoice before the Lord, for he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth, who judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with truth. The Lord who judges with righteousness and truth. His judgment is his look of love upon us. We cannot be afraid of our Lord because the Lord is truth and in him there is no lie. We need to trust in him and to know that he will act with justice and righteousness with his people. And the gospel of today, Gospel of St. John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 18, as I mentioned in the beginning, is the same gospel that we read on Christmas Day. And we hear St. John telling us that the Word of God is Jesus Christ. In the, beginning was, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All them, things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming to, into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, out of the will of the flesh, or of the will of men, but of God. And the word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God the only Son who, was made, who has made him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God the only Son who has made him known to us. Jesus Christ came on earth, became incarnate, became flesh to show us the Father's face, to show us the Father's love and mercy for us. From him, we have received grace upon grace. These are truths of our faiths of our faith that we need to keep in our hearts. Truths of faith. From him, from his fullness, we have received grace upon grace. And as Saint John said in his first letter, it is the last hours hour. It is the last hours of the last day of the year. That again it might have been so far the the most difficult year in our lives but we have received grace upon grace the lord did not leave us alone the lord is with us he's the emmanuel god is with us and for the end of this year and for the beginning of the next we need to keep this certainty in our hearts the lord is with us 
and to end our last day of the year and our meditation for today, I would like to read you St. Leo the Great Pope quote from, the, from this early morning prayer. The birthday of the Lord is the birthday of, of peace. As Paul the Apostle says, For he is our peace, who has made us both one. For whether we be Jew or Gentile, through him we have access in one spirit through the Father. The birth of the Lord is the birth of peace. May the Lord bless us today with his peace making our hearts to be in peace with everything that we lived in this year that is ending today and making us full of peace for the year that is to come. We don't know what is coming. We don't know how our world will be. We don't know how our lives will be in this year that is coming. But what we know is that we have received grace upon grace through Jesus Christ and that's our hope and we know that he came to bring us peace may the Lord bless us in the last day of this year and tomorrow that we celebrate the solemnity of Mary mother of God may our blessed mother bless us in the very first day in the very hours of this new year everything that we will live in 2021. Amen.